So Stream Decks have become super sophisticated. They're no longer just a streaming type device. You can do all sorts of stuff, including smart home devices. And if you look on either side of me here, these two lamps have RGB bulbs in them and they're set up to where they have different scenes, which will give me different colors depending on what I set up in those scenes. And I wanted to be able to change those scenes with just pushing a button on the Stream Deck. So today I'm gonna to go through, show you how to set that up. And the cool thing is, is it works for just about every Stream Deck. I don't know if it works with the Stream Deck mobile subscription, but I believe it does. And also not every application or smart device application is currently supported. And it works most of the time. There is a small delay, but 90% of the time it works really well. So that being said, let's hop on over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to get started. So to get started, there's a few different steps that we're going to take, and a lot of these steps are going to be smaller, so it's going to seem a little more complex than it really is, but just bear with me. I'll try to make this as easy as possible. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your Stream Deck software like this, and you're going to want to add the IFTTT plugin. To do that, click on the little keyboard with a little plus sign. That is going to open up your um, Stream Deck store. And in the search field at the top right, just type in IFTTT. Yours should have a blue install button since mine is already installed. Um, it just says uninstall. So you're going to want to do that. And once that's finished, you can close out of the store and search for it in your software here. So if we search for IFTTT, we're going to drag this anywhere you want it to be on your Stream Deck. So we'll just choose right here, for example. And if we click on that, you can see that there's going to be uh, some information that we need to fill out here in just a moment. We'll come back to this here in just a moment as well. So from here, you can click on the button that says create new applet. What this is going to do is it's going to forward you or open you up to the ifttt.com website. If you have an account, great, sign in. If not, you will need to create an account in order to continue. Once we've done this and you've signed in, you can click on the little create button up in the top right hand corner. And it's gonna bring us to creating our very first applet. So if this, we're gonna click on add, and you're just gonna type in the word web and choose webhook from this list. Once you've chosen that, it's gonna give you these options. Choose receive a web request. And this is the event you're gonna to want to call it whatever it is. So for today's example, I want to be able to turn a scene that I've already set up in the Wiz application called daylight. This just turns my bulbs to a daylight temperature. So I'm just gonna call this daylight underscore on. Yours is gonna be whatever you want it to be called, but but once you're done with it, you're gonna to want to copy it exactly how it shows here and open up your Stream Deck software. And at the very bottom of the IFTTT button, under the event name, go ahead and paste it. And like I said, those two have to be exactly the same. Otherwise it will not work. Maker key, we'll come back to that in just a moment. So we're gonna go back to the website, uh, the IFTT website. And we're gonna left click on where it says create trigger. Then we're gonna choose a then that. So basically if I press this button, then that or then this is going to happen. So we're gonna choose on add or we're gonna click on add. This is where you're going to choose your application for your smart device. I am using a non Philips Hue Philips RGB bulb that uses an application called uh, Wiz. So I'm gonna type in Wiz in the section here and I'm going to left click on the Wiz application or the Wiz service. It's then gonna give me a few different options that I can choose from, turning the lights on, turning them off, pulse the light, activate a scene, etc. Yours is gonna be slightly different depending on the app that you're using. And from here, you're gonna to want to choose your specific action. And here in just a moment, I'll pop up a screen recording so you can see what I'm doing on the phone as well because it requires some steps there too. In this case, I want to activate a scene. So I'm gonna click on activate a scene and we're gonna connect the application on my phone and the IFTTT service together. So we're gonna click on connect. You can see this little window is going to pop up and it's gonna say in the Wiz app, go to settings, integrations, enable the access for the IFTTT. You should read something similar and you're just gonna to want to follow those steps. So I'm gonna put up the screen recording in the, on the right hand side there. So we're gonna go into my smart home, into the Wiz application, gonna go into the settings, and we're gonna look for the IFTTT under the integrations and tap on where it says disabled. 
and I want to gain access or allow access to Nautilus, which is what the home is called. Click on that. And you can see that it's giving me a code on the phone and I need to type that into the Wiz application window on the screen as well. So in this case, it's gonna be NFQJRX. And we're gonna click on the little blue arrow to confirm that. And I'll move this back to the center here. And now that you can see that since those two are now integrated, I can activate the scene. It's showing me what account and I can choose a scene. From here, again, I want to do the daylight. So I'm gonna choose daylight and create the action. From here, we're basically done except for one other step. So we're gonna click on continue. You can turn notifications on or off. So I'm gonna move them to the left and click finish. And we've are officially created our very first applet. Again, there's one more piece of information that we need to plug into the Stream Deck software, which is going to be the maker key. To find your maker key, go up to your avatar, click on it, click on where it says my services, scroll down to webhook, and then once again, click on webhook and come back up, click on settings. They can definitely simplify that, but essentially that's what you have to do right now. And we're gonna need everything after the, for the last forward slash under the URL section. You don't wanna give this out to anybody. Yes, I know I'm creating a video of it, but I'll remove this or regenerate it. Not a big deal if you do, just regenerate it, or like I said, remove it, recreate it, whatever. Point is, copy this, go back to your Stream Deck software, and paste it under the maker key. You can title this anything that you want it, so we'll just say daylight on. If you click on the little uh, font or little T, you can reduce the font, you can move the font on the bottom, middle, top, wherever you want it. Or, in fact, you can see that this one and this one right here with the, the Sea of Thieves logo and this Nebula logo, these are actually also scenes that I've already set up um, and I've just attached an icon to them to indicate or make them easy to understand. So, that's it, everything is all set up. So now, you can test it out. So we're gonna go ahead and press the button on the Stream Deck here you'll get a little check mark and you can see that it activated the daylight scene. Now, if I wanted to go back to my other scenes, you can see that I've already created some other ones here. And so if I press the little deep space nebula, that's gonna take me back to my deep space theme. So that's just a, a fairly quick way to go through, set up your smart devices and be able to control them with your, uh, with your stream deck. So there you have it. Hopefully by now you're able to get it set up and you're controlling your smart devices with your Stream Deck. Now I said that there is a slight delay and not everything is supported. If you do want things to move a little bit quicker, you can sign up for their seven day trial. That'll give you more than just the five applets with the free account, you're limited to five applets. Um, and if you like it and you will use it enough, then you may end up wanting to pay for the subscription. There is no, this video isn't sponsored by them or anything like that. This is just me using the IFTTT website for just something that I wanted to do. Um, but if you want more, you can sign up for their subscription and that will give you access to up to 20 different applets. And like I said, it makes things a little bit quicker. So that is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you got liked it and you got something out of it. If you're still having some struggles, reach out down in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out as soon as I can. Uh, other than that, while you're down there, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <gasps>